Time to get our lives together. Oh. Hi, friend. Sorry, my background's a bit busy. I've been meaning to make this video for a while now. Okay, so let's. So let's start with how I got into tech, first of all. My brother and I have always been into math and science. Uh, my parents were art dealers, so they had us traveling with them all over the country. And what we would do to pass the time was to see like who can calculate the multiplication tables fastest, or we take apart things that were in the car. So I always knew that I was going to get into STEM, but I didn't know that I was going to be a software engineer. Now, as many of you know, my family's from Senegal, West Africa, so I come from an African household. Um, so when it was time for college, there wasn't really a choice. Like, I always say I only had three options. I mean, it was either be a doctor, lawyer, or engineer, so I chose engineer. And luckily that ended up working out. But um, I tried different engineering paths. So I, I recommend doing that because you don't know what's going to be for you. So I took a mechanical engineering class. Uh, I sat in for a civil engineering class. I sat in for an electrical engineering class. None of those were for me until I enrolled into my first computer science class. And I was like, okay, 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 okay. I was getting towards like the last years of my academic career and I wanted to make sure that my resume was really strong. So I ended up joining ACM. Uh, my first day, it was actually election day. So I ran for treasurer um, and I won. <laughs> I didn't expect to win. I ended up becoming vice president of their software division. And that was pretty cool. I ended up meeting, I ended up meeting some good friends. And I believe that year I found a flyer on the wall of the student job board for a place called MetaLab. And I've talked about them before. They're a program at my university. They hired students um, to work there. So I chose the backend track and I was a backend developer. I was being paid. They had a front end track so you can be a front end developer. And then there was the ops track if someone wanted to get into operations. And then they also had their UI UX team and marketing team. So basically it was a tech startup because we worked on pretty big projects. Uh, we worked on a towing system for the, um, the police division over there. I think it was the Northridge police. I don't remember. It was a long time ago, <laughs> but it was pretty big projects, which is why I had such a weight on my resume especially because I didn't have any internships. So that job saved my life. But that was such an amazing experience. Um, I was one of like four girls on the dev team, back end, front end, and ops. Um, it was me and a good friend of mine. Her name is Keitha. We pretty much took all of our classes together from like the, like the day we met onwards, pretty much. Uh, but it, it didn't feel like a boys club. All of the boys were so fun and cool and like made us feel inclusive. It was just like being in a club. Every time we would um, see each other in the hallways or whatever, they would like scream to us or shout at, you know, shout at us to get our attention. So it was really fun. It, it made us feel like um, less excluded in the computer science department because the computer science department, it was definitely a handful of girls. I know I was, I had to be like one of maybe two black girls in the computer science department because I knew everybody. So um, the second, the first black girl I ever met who was a programmer or, or computer science student, um, she was, I think, in her sophomore, sophomore year and I was in my last year of college at that point. So when we saw each other, we're just like, it was like that, that Spider-Man me. It was so weird yeah that was great to see and i like gave her some advice and stuff like that so that was fun uh but yeah just being in an organization made me feel a lot less excluded so i'm very very grateful to metal lab for so many reasons i've definitely had some weird moments being in the computer science major it was weird either people would talk to you or they just wouldn't talk to you. So I mean that as in my peers were really, really nice to me and my friend. They were either really nice to us or they would just completely ignore us. There was like no in between. And I, I still to this day don't have an explanation for that, but the main people who would talk to us 
were the people who were in Meta Lab. And because they were talking to us, they were kind of considered the cool kids in our nerd department. They were kind of like the cool kids of uh, the department. So when people would see them talking to us, then they would kind of start warming up to us more. And especially because we were in Meta Lab, we kind of had uh, credibility, I guess. It was like, we weren't seen as just like some girls who got lost. So, you know, we had a little bit of, we had some status or whatever, you know. The professors were weird. Some of the professors were weird, I'm sorry. Um, and I mean that, I don't mean like just my computer science classes. I mean like the classes that were math classes, the ones that were physics classes. I'm talking about all the classes. Like I, I'm not just generalizing like the computer science classes, you know. But um, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna have a separate video about maybe like a story time on, you know, interactions with professors for lack of a better word. Uh, because I think that's very important to talk about, especially as a woman in computer science. So when I got into industry, industry, um, I'm lucky I have met nothing but smart and respectful people you know uh, people are just willing to help they answer your questions um they're just really cool so i'm very lucky when it comes to that um but i have mentioned in another video i know there are douchebags in every field i know that stop typing stop typing in the comments please like the ones in tech they is a special kind. I don't know if you've ever seen Rick and Morty, but they're Mortys who think that they're Rick. That's, that's the best way I can describe it. I hope that doesn't come off as rude as I think it does, because I think it sounds kind of rude, actually. It's a small subset. For the most part, everyone else, they're gonna like want to collaborate. They're gonna want to talk about code and the new stuff that's coming out, tech events, all the fun stuff. For the most part, you're gonna meet people like that, but there are the ones, there's always one. There's always that one Morty. <laughs> Woo, don't drag me! I get to experience overt racism. Uh, I am lucky in that regard, but just because it doesn't happen to me doesn't mean that it doesn't happen. I've heard lots of stories from people of color where it was just blatant racism, so. It does exist, it does happen. Um, I have experienced microaggressions before and it's so funny because it's like you, that's the funny part about intersectionality because you don't know if someone said something or did something because you're black or because you're a girl. So you just gotta like roll the depression dice, I guess. But I think it's very important for these experiences to be talked about just so that people can understand that some things are just not okay to say because there are people who it's they're not intentional trying to make you uncomfortable. But if we just never talk about our experiences, then they're not going to know that they made you uncomfortable so that you can spare the next person from microaggressions or anything weird i remember one time i went to a tech conference and uh i remember i walked in we all had badges i'm not gonna say the company we all had badges with our name and our title i guess there was i guess there was like another event that was going on that was like a business event or, or something i don't even know but i remember walking in i was by myself and um one guy came up to me he had an engineer label and he was like oh you must be looking for business and I was like, no, I'm, I'm for, I'm here for the engineering conference. Like, like it says, like on my, on my name tag. And he looks at the tag and then looks at me and just goes, huh, how'd that happen? <laughs> when I tell you, I was that meme, the one of that guy blinking. I was just like, it happened because I got a bachelor of science to give you science and a minor in math and a minor in Africana studies you know he just laughed and was just like oh you know i'm just joking around and i was just like 
So that was really awkward. I just kind of walked away and just found my tribe. Things like that happen. The best part about industry is that it's not gonna happen often and it's rarely gonna happen at work because we have HR, unlike college. But please, 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 I'm speaking to the women who are watching this. Do not accept any behavior or comments or opinions that make you uncomfortable. Because like my dad always says, you teach people how to treat you. So that's worked very well for me so far. Also the online community is so great. I have met so many awesome people, um, especially the women in tech community. Oh my gosh, all the women are so amazing. They're so smart, smart. They got, they, there's, it's clicking, you know? I live for it. I love talking to the women who are engineers right now. Oof, it's hot. Like the black is hot, you know? But I love speaking to programmers in general. It's, it's nice when someone else understands your way of thinking, you know? So I am very thankful for you, friend. I'm thankful for the people in the comments who make funny jokes, who tell me their favorite programming language so we can talk about that. I'm thankful for the DMs. Such amazing conversation. So I really appreciate you. And I'm really, really happy to just be in tech, to be in the industry and being able to give back my knowledge and be, to be able to receive knowledge too. So that has been an amazing experience. Hopefully you found this entertaining. <laughs> Please protect me in the comments. <laughs> I actually found a sponsorship for an online learning community for data science. Data science, like I, I literally did not know that existed. <laughs> wow. Wow! Look, each of their lessons are bite-sized so you can learn in a way that fits your schedule on any device. There are tools to learn data science and analytics skills you need to succeed in the real world. And look at all of these courses they have, more than 300 with hands-on exercises. Now, I personally think their most impressive part is um, the projects. They're on such interesting topics. There's even one on Game of Thrones. Now, DataCamp subscription starts at $25 a month for unlimited access to their courses and their assessment test. So click on the link at the description box to get access to the first chapter of their courses for free. Highly recommend checking it out, especially if you're going into data science. And I will see you in the next video, friends. Bye.